Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Mini GT Overseas Edition LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR in John Player Special Livery. Picked mine up from my friends over at Surplus Goodies. Check out the link in the video description if you'd like to add this car to your collection. It is also available in a Miho Exclusive USA version and clamshell packaging, but I picked mine up from surplus goodies in the overseas card box only version before we get to the die cast itself move it out of the way take a look at the packaging as i mentioned it does come in just your standard box minus all the other packaging got mini gt got the car featured nicely on the side lb works 179 lb silhouette works gt nissan 35 gtrr and jps livery of course livery walk on the top right corner the center of the box features Mini GT and TSM model branding. The top of the box features 179 LB Silhouette Works GT. Warning and ages 14 and up on the bottom. And your hologram and officially licensed information on the back. So that is the packaging. Now we'll go ahead and take a closer look at the die cast itself. It's absolutely phenomenal. This is a fairly new tooling from Mini GT taking, you know... An already cool Nissan GTR uh, tooling and basically adding a major body kit to it. It also features a new wheel tooling, which is hard to see because they're black, but there is the wheels. Black, gloss black and uh, a, a bronze color looks great. On the hood, we have JPS. Of course, we do have some intakes there on the hood you can see as well. Up on the window banner, we have LB Silhouette Works GT. This is a left-hand drive. John Player Special on the front. Do have GTR uh, badging in the grill right below the word player. I don't know if you can see that. Do have LB Performance below that. There you can see the R anyways in red. Insert of details for your headlights. We do have the rubber side mirrors to prevent breakage during transit. All the intakes on the front and everything outlined in the uh, bronze. LB works on a little shark fin down here. As I mentioned, there's the new wheel tooling. Wheels roll smoothly. It does feature metal on metal construction with uh, rubber tires. Of course, here is the fender flares looking extra special. On the door, as I mentioned, we have JPS John Player Special, LB Performance on the side there. It's massive rear wing with LBWK on the side plate. Liberty walk over the rear fenders. Back here on the rear. Insert a tail light details. LBWK Liberty walk. Of course, got quad exhaust also in that same uh, bronze. More uh, livery up here and everything. Right side of the car. More or less the same as the left side, no major differences. And no quality control issues. I've been fortunate. Not a single model I've gotten of Mini GT has featured any QC problems. So that's always good. Here's the chassis. Got really good mo uh, casted in uh, details for your rear diffuser. So yeah, saw die cast, 10 out of 10. If you're wanting to add the LB Silhouette Works GT Nissan 35 GT RR in John Player Special Livery, link will be in the video description below to order it. Hopefully you enjoyed this diecast review and convinced you to add this one to your collection. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications, and you can also find me on Instagram at JasonAstrain69. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you next time for an all-new diecast review. Bye.